today we're going to laugh. <laughs> That's the reaction I want. My breakup was hard because I loved her. It's hard to forgive myself. Is what I'm doing with my life good enough, meaningful enough? Who are you? What's the deeper truth? Let's do it. I'm so excited. <laughs> My name is Stephanie Nash. Today, we're going to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the reaction I want. It's like, huh. Her laughter was just really out of the blue. I wasn't expecting it. We're all sitting there, we're talking. And she goes, I'm going to teach you how to laugh today. <laughs> I was like, um, I want to lean over to, to Natalie and be like, can we just like run right now? Or like, I don't know. When we have stuff happening in our life, or especially if there's one event that we're dealing with a lot, it can create a kind of stuck emotional habit pattern. And then to move to another way to respond to something isn't as likely. So laughing is a way of kind of boosting through that, of breaking that up and helping free that. Well, one thing we can start with is smiling. Now, I am talking to you right now, and I am not smiling. I can talk in the same way, and I can put a huge teeth grin to where I'm like that, and the content of what I'm saying is the same, but I've got this huge smile, and you guys are now laughing, right? Now, know what you're feeling, whether we do a big, good. She's crying. You're good. <laughs> So whether we do this big, huge smile or even a nice smile, there's a pleasant sensation you got from that. If we believe that we can control the world we live in, imagine everyone who sees you as you move through the world gets hit with a wave of that positive feeling. You cannot be in a room with Stephanie and not laugh. I got a laughing attack immediately, which actually made the entire session a lot better. I get told I laugh like a superhero. Laugh like a superhero? When I laugh really big, it's like, ha, 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 ha. Oh, I love that. That's I don't. That's great. <laughs> I feel silly. Sometimes I like I correct my laugh when I, when oh, I do that. Oh, OK. I'm going to encourage you not to correct your laugh. <laughs> that is beautiful. That is a God-given power. So much of the suffering we have is judging, and most of it is judging ourselves. I think one of the barriers to being whole for me can be insecurity. If you. Um, don't feel confident about aspects of what you do or who you are, that can be a, a setback. Now I'm gonna show you a uh, boost to a big laugh, and it's just literally slap, let all the air out, make a sound like pushing out the air at the end, like the end of a laugh, big breath in, and then up from the high, and then just giggle, whatever happens. Make mm -hmm. sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I want you to think of this as an exercise to kind of get that diaphragm going, okay? So. So, this is your prescription. The dynamic laugh we just did, for a minimum of 30 seconds, before you leave for the day and when you get home. And the other one would be smiling. Find a time to smile privately and in public. And it's been lovely working with you. Thanks Good luck on your that. journey so here. I'm into this stuff, but I did have a moment where I was like, what is this new agey bullshit? I did feel awkward at points, just laughing, being like, ha, 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 ha. Something about me being 
self-conscious of like, I've got a fake laughter. This seems like what psycho people do. They laugh for no reason. I think the beauty was the reminder that you don't have to have a reason to laugh. You can do it just for the exercise and for the health benefits of it. When it feels that good, you don't want to move an inch.